Hello, everybody. I want to talk today about one of Catherine's first jail incidents where she gets disciplinary action. And I want to kind of talk about how Katie started to show a little bit of her character evidence. And this kind of made me think of why Catherine was not granted bail um, by Judge Hackensan or Judge Wheeler. And she was labeled a high risk inmate because of her charges. But I want to talk about one of her first incidents, including nose ring incident, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But so, you know, they're beginning to monitor her behavior because she is in a classification level where they are watching her because of her charges. So I believe she was like in a a solitary confinement pod. She was allowed to use the phone and she ended the call and she attempted to make another one. And she was advised that she was not allowed to make another call, but proceeded to make another call. And she was given verbal orders to hang up the phone. And she, you know, basically was involved in her first incident. So then they said she'll be removed from high risk. And this was around October and moved to the general population. And that's where I think she kind of developed her relationships. And there's there's other videos I'm going to do later about where she talks about not wanting to be with other inmates because her case is so high profile and didn't want to be around people. So the next incident where she gets into trouble is for putting her cards and pictures on her window which seems pretty harmless but they've asked her to do it a couple of times and she like refused we're moving on into like 2017 and there haven't been any incidents in like early 2017 but she gets in trouble again for refusing to take her paper down from her window in um june 28th of 2017 She was then informally disciplined because of her room inspection, because of this paper on her window. And then she was disciplined again in in August of 2017 for having the cards and letters on her window, which is pretty harmless, you guys. Okay, but I want to get to the title of this video, the nose ring incident. September of 2017 somebody noticed inmate Magbanu had a nose ring in. The area was very red and irritated. It appeared to be recently pierced. I looked at her booking picture and there was no nose ring present and did not appear to be a hole. I confiscated the nose ring and filled out a property release. The inmate and I both signed it. I dropped the nose ring to property. You know, second or third incident in the year. So it just kind of shows that Catherine is not really... Um, doing things by the book. She's not a model inmate at this point. And so anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and feelings below about this nose ring incident. Who put the nose ring in her nose? We'll, we'll have to just wait for more, (laughs) more jail stories from Catherine. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.